Okay. I don't think that's right. Uh, we started. Are we rolling? <laughs> right, so, Baby Janes, you Hello. come to play for the Browse Birthday gig. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank, yeah, thank you. Uh, do you want to just introduce yourself first of all? Uh, my name is Harry. My name is Joe. My name is Adam. And collectively, we're known as the Baby James. Fabulous. Where did the name come from? Good question. It's, uh, Who's taking this? Should I run with it? I'll run with this one. Um, we needed a name change, first and foremost, and uh, we wanted something that represented our sound as a vocal harmony group. So we looked at the 60s for that, um, as that's quite influenced, influenced by you know, vocal harmonies and, and pop music generally. <coughs> Um, so we looked into films of the 1960s and came across uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Very sweet, as James Taylor would say. Um, so we sort of, it's a sort of take on that. Uh, coinci like, coincidentally, I'll get my words out for the interview. Uh, coincidentally, the farm that we're recording on currently and live at is called Black Jane Farm. Right. Um, so there's a couple of little links to, to Baby Janes and we're quite infantile with our demeanour generally so we thought Baby Janes would tie in. So that's that's that really. Let's talk about the farm. So just clarify, whose farm is it you're staying at at the moment? We live on Not our, ours. our, our, <laughs> it's our a manager's, Pete Waterman's farm. Uh, in the beautiful, glorious Cheshire countryside. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. We muck out the pigs, cows. Yeah. Is it a full hands on? No, 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 no. It was, no, no. it was. It is an old farmhouse, but it's, there's, no, there's nothing running like that anymore. There's a few there, stray no. peacocks, but that's as far as it goes. We really. have a pet peacock. We have a pet peacock. Yeah. Brilliant. That was in our contract. We don't have a name, <laughs> peacock. So. I think that's an obvious one, I think. It's a good, it's a good right it's, it's a female peacock. That's yeah, a it's, it's, it's a, a good right hen. Retreat. It's a good right hen. Female retreat. peacock is a pea hen, right? Is it? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. P. Yeah. If you say so. I know me agriculture. Um, we so left London to live at the farm. Huh? Yeah, yeah. No, no. It was a... <laughs> it was a, a right and retreat. It was a, it was a cheaper option. Yeah. <laughs> And it was a writing retreat, yeah. yeah. You know, we built a studio basically. It and was we knocked yeah. in one of the uh, old um, dairy, dairy farms. Old dairy farms. The old yeah. dairy farms yeah, it was now. now a studio. Um, because as as we write all our own material, the studios in London. Um, about like, some of you. Oh, sorry. My, my uncle. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> and our, and our biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. And uh, so, um, yeah, so. Basically, the studios in London weren't really right for our sound as as, as musicians. Uh, it's sort of there were there were more vocal booths for yeah. his previous artists. Um, so we sort of he came up with the idea that we move out into the countryside, we can be creative there, there's more space, and, and so that's basically what we're doing now currently. That's got to be quite nice, the fact that you know you can just go into the studio, check that the sound works there. Yeah, it's nice that they've given us that trust and say, you know, we appreciate what you're doing and we appreciate that you perhaps need something different than we're used to working with. Um, and it was, you know, it's a definitely a trust thing that they've said, you know, we'll set up the studio here, we'll give you the space that you need to write and record and time to... Uh, develop as a band really you know, we've, we've learned a lot in the last you know, couple of years um, whether that's been a songwriting basis or about each other about each other you know we've, le we've learned and seen a lot of each other basically we can't have relationships because we're in love with each other it's a love hate yeah love's yeah love's a strong we don't word have time for relationships because we live and work together so yeah girls um, you're gonna have to wait I'm afraid. yeah although we are still single so there'll be a, a description in the box below Hook us up. Please sign here. Any applicants? Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's 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 the farm. That's the farm. Would you say that you've adapted at all since um, joining the label? Did you found? I don't think did adapted. You find that it was different? Yeah, I, I don't think adapt is the word. I think um, developed and evolved is is more of a, an accurate assumption of what we've done. We may not have gone down the whole writing so many originals through. We've, yeah. we've got a fairly substantial sort of repertoire of original songs and stuff, but that maybe has only come about because we got the option, you know, to be signed yeah. and stuff. I mean, our original plans were just to keep doing the function circuits, so weddings, bars, clubs, and we were thinking about going on the, like, doing cruise ship entertainment and stuff, so it's, it's not forced us to go that way, but um, I think 
adapting. I don't know. We just sort of had to take each day as it comes, really. So yeah. it's like write a new song for me, you know, every two weeks kind of thing. That's how it all started. Yeah. But, um, I think as um, writers and musicians as well, it, it was kind of a a saving grace because you know doing the function circuit and things like that was you know it was always something we you know as, as we started as a busking band it was always something that was more realistic but after getting signed it was kind of a saving grace it's like wow we actually get to do what we what we really love to do um as as musicians um and so it's it's it's, it's great to be able to have that opportunity and to, to play your own stuff and have people give you great feedback it's, it's, yeah and you've just come from a European tour, am I right? You've recently done a European tour. Yeah, yeah. we're sort of mid, amidst the uh, European tour. Yeah, we, we, a um, mini, it's a mini. Yeah, it's mini. Like, it's sort of, we've, we've, we've sort of um, got a few gigs around Germany. Um, we've been playing in London. We've had some in North Wales. We're obviously in the delightful Hull, which is a highlight for me. City of culture. City of culture <laughs> and Harry's favourite city for the white phone boxes. <laughs> and then uh, as of tomorrow, we're up in Scotland. We've got a few gigs up in Edinburgh um, as part of the Fringe Festival. So we're playing up there. We drive up tomorrow. We're sorry, we're playing in Manchester tomorrow night. And then af after that, we're up to Edinburgh Yeah, for a week. Um, so it's sort of been a scattering of gigs around uh, Europe. Uh, whether you'd call it Maybe a European gig, <laughs> yeah. But um, Stuttgart is our favourite city now. So shout out to Stuttgart. Stuttgart. Yeah. <laughs> um, Danke schön, Stefan say. Vollmer, dass wir hier sein dürfen. Oui, oui. Yeah. You speak German? Yeah. Well, there you go. How are you in there? So what have you thought of the, the other two acts tonight, Jack Conman and MFA? Absolutely blown away. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Very different as well. It just goes to show uh, how much talent's in, in Hull and, and now it's kind of... I mean, I'm from Beverly, uh, so I, I've grown up We don't up, really like to talk about Hull, that, though. Uh, <laughs> I've grown up in Hull, so I know that um, it's kind of... There's been a lot of talent, but it's not really been on the map. Yeah. And it's kind of... I mean, the university's doing really well now. A lot more students, city of culture, and I think it's it's going to get. Hopefully, it'll get like the reputation that Leeds has got eventually, you know, in years to come. And I think, you know, as as a sort of um, as a scene, I think the indie scene and the acoustic scene is is really coming about. And I think artists like them just really are a clear sort of representation of how 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 good Hull is really for, for, for music. I think music as well, way. how much is out there but it's just not recognised at all. Um, it should be, it deserves to be. Yeah. So. And, and just going back to your question, it's a, a real pleasure to be to be playing alongside. So uh, thank you. Tonight. Yeah, thank you for having us Browse Magazine. We'll just finish with, where can we get information about you? Um, so you can look us up on the internet because uh, that's the best place to look anything up. We are on Instagram as at the Baby Janes. We're on Twitter at the Baby Janes. Janes with a Y, J A Y N E S. Facebook, and lastly, we're on Tinder, aren't we? We're on Tinder. Yeah. We are on Tinder. So YouTube. We're in YouTube. Oh, that was it. YouTube. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. If you just give us a Google, we'll pop up. We'll make a nuisance of ourselves. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, thank you. See you later.